Because boobs are weird, aren't they? <laughs> Not physically. <laughs> Not biologically, but you know. <laughs> Their attraction. The fact that we like them. And we do. <laughs> we, 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 we love them. <laughs> and it's weird, isn't it? Especially because we know what they're for. That just makes it weirder, doesn't it? <laughs> and I am sorry, ladies, <laughs> for what we are like. Men. Because I am afraid to tell you, but there is not a dad in this room. There is not a dad in this room that when his wife or partner was pregnant, especially for that first time, and her breasts started to swell <laughs> through pregnancy, there is not a dad in this room that did not think to himself, gay mom. <laughs> like it's a gift for us. And it doesn't work like that, though, does it? Because as the boobs get bigger and bigger, so does the perimeter fence around the boobs. <laughs> You're not allowed anywhere near them all of a sudden. They're just like museum exhibits now, aren't they? <laughs> just got to remain behind the velvet rope at all times. <laughs> there might as well be a button next to the boobs you're allowed to press that just tells you all about the boobs. <laughs> the best you can hope for is just put headphones on, follow around the house, learn about the boobs. Wait till she's asleep at night and just abseil down from a skylight and just... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> get yourself a cheeky little pregnant boob wobble and get out of there before she wakes up. That's all you've got to do, but don't do that. That's illegal. Um... <laughs> it is weird, though, isn't it? I mean, fellas, blokes, just, just think about it for a minute. Think about what we are like. They are the milk producing glands of the female childbearer of our species, specifically for the feeding of our own children. And we perv over them like pigs. <laughs> we are worse than pigs. Worse than pigs were the only animals that do it. No other mammal on the entire planet has that same recreationally seedy, perverse relationship with whatever the equivalent may be. You don't get cattle doing it. You don't get bulls in a field going, oh, look at the fucking others on that, man. <laughs> Come on, Daisy, line your back and let me lick him, baby. <laughs> Angus, what are you doing to me, Angus? <laughs> I don't know, Daisy, I haven't got a word for it. Because <laughs> he's a bull, isn't he? He don't know what a motorboat is. <laughs> he's never been anywhere near the water. <laughs> he lives in a landlocked field, poor little fella. <laughs> this is a problem that me and my wife have, by the way, right? My wife is a psychologist. I do this. She'll spend all day in work dealing with people's problems, heavy emotional, psychological problems. And then she'll come home from work physically, mentally, emotionally drained and exhausted. And she'll tell me about her day. And then she'll ask me that inevitable question. So what did you do today then? <laughs> <sighs> I wrote this bit about a bull motorboat and a cow. <laughs> Giving them both names, he's called Angus, she's called Daisy, and then this is one bit, he goes, just lie on your back and let me lick him, baby. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be really funny. Yeah, yeah. 